Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel again. So today we are bringing you a new lesson. This is the first lesson that we are going to do to you. So this is uh, about introduction to accounting. Uh, gives about uh, idea about accounting. Uh, before we start the lesson, I want to give you a small message. Actually, the main reason why I start this uh, YouTube channel is uh, mainly concern about uh, our students. Due to the current situation in the world and even the country, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic is very worst everywhere, most of the countries. So our students will be able to uh, get these free lessons from home so they can be safe at home. So uh, what I want to tell you is everyone be safe. Uh, during this uh, uh, time. So we'll move to our lesson number one. I'll share the screen now. Today we are going to do the lesson number one. Uh, this is the introduction to accounting. So previous uh, introduction to IEL, we have discussed about uh, the exam and the IEL uh, features and everything. So today we have, first we are going to discuss about the syllabus. So our AS level, uh, the syllabus mainly can uh, categorize into main six areas. Uh, so number one is principles of accounting and double entry bookkeeping. Number two is control procedures. So here we learn about control accounts etc. And third one is financial statements of organizations. This include the uh, sole trader partnership. Uh, in addition to that, you uh, get incomplete records, uh, club accounts, etc. Uh, introduction to costing. Costing, uh, we are going to discuss here about uh, overhead costing, uh, job costing, etc. Uh, fifth one is analysis of accounting statements. Especially we do a uh, ratio analysis under this. And as uh, last chapter or last lesson, last area, we are going to do, discuss uh, social and ethical accounting. Actually, it's mainly a, uh, it's a theory uh, area. So those are the main six areas given in your sil syllabus or in your specification. So you can go through your specification from uh, uh, you can download it from uh, internet. So we go to the next slide now. So first of all, I want to give an idea uh, about what is accounting. So first of all, I'll tell this definition in simple terms. We can say that accounting is about recording, analyzing, and communicating information. This process allows managers, lenders of finance, shareholders and the many other users of this information, the opportunity and ability to make informed judgment and decisions. Actually, the accounting, father of accounting is Leo Pazzioli. Uh, he's the one who introduced double entry system to the world. So the main purpose of accounting is what we do is we first record the information, analyze those information, and communicate that information to related parties. Then after that, based on this information, uh, we have to take uh, decisions and we have to make judgments. That's what happening in accounting. That's a simple uh, definition of accounting. So then go to the next slide. It, it explains about uses of financial accounting. So normal scenario, if we consider, that these are the main users of accounting. The owners of the business, they are really interested about the, business, about the accounting uh, because their main aim is to earn profits. Uh, therefore, they concern about uh, uh, they concern about accounting because those information will be able to analyze. Then they can see what is their next decisions uh, and whether they earn profit with whether they perform well or not compared to last year. Next one is trade 
creditors or suppliers uh, they are really worried because whether this company is performing well their financial position is good or not will they uh, will they uh, will they able to pay back their money so those things can be considered therefore they are really interested about accounting long term creditors uh, they are even really uh, worried about uh, accounting because they want to uh, see whether this company will be able to pay back employees the workers in the organization they concern about accounting or the financial performance of the business because they want to see whether they get their salary next again in next month and their bonuses etc even banks they are financial institutions they offer loans when they offer loans they want to see whether they pay back customers are worried about the quality of the products because if the company performing well only they will be able to maintain their quality otherwise they may they may uh, go to low quality products so they are really worried about that so they concern according to the financial accounting uh, of that particular business competitors the rivals are really interested about the accounting <laughs> because they are rivals how they perform when they got to compare and see uh, how they performed etc for so they they are really interested about that uh, finally government they concern about the financial accounting of a company because they want to see uh, whether the com this company is paying tax uh, Uh, according to the profit they earn so those are the main users of financial accounting then we move to the next slide this slides give you some idea about double entry system uh every business is different so the records maintained will vary because of the different information which is required but the basis of all the accounting system is double entry bookkeeping is same so duality concept will be applied here So, if you take a T account, uh, the middle you can see my cursor point. So here you can see the account name, and in your left hand side is the debit side, and your right hand side is your credit side. So remember always your left hand side is the debit side, and the right hand side is your credit side. So we'll move to the next slide. okay then you need to get some idea uh, about uh, these accounts in accounting mainly there are five accounts they are assets liabilities income capital and expenditure so first of all i will give you an idea about these terms assets mean what business or so resources of the business all the resources in the business can be considered as assets as an example uh, delivery vehicle motor vehicle furniture fittings uh, uh, cash money in the bank all these items can be considered as assets next one is liabilities the what business owes to outsiders so as an example uh, the bank loan is one example bank overdraft is another example capital capital means money or asset invested by the owner to the business when the owner when he starts if it is sold right when he starts a business he has to invest money so that amount is known as capital of the business even assets can be invested income earning of the business can be considered as income uh, some examples are commission received a discount received there are those other examples uh, for income next one is expenses expenses means the money spent or cost incurred by the business there are many expenses uh, for a business uh, light and heat rent payments insurance etc so those are the expenses i believe now you got some idea about 
these five accounts. These are very important to understand these five accounts and examples for those five accounts. We can go to the next slide. The next slide explains you the accounting equations. Our accounting equation is assets equal capital plus liability. So this accounting equation, if you go to, if you go and see your balance sheet or financial position, when we are going to learn in the future, you'll understand further assets equal capital plus liability. Uh, so now as an example, uh, there can be a question like this. The asset figure is not given to you. Capital <coughs> figure is, sorry, asset figure is 1000, I'm sorry. Liability figure is 200 pounds. So they're asking the value of capital. So you can use this formula and get the answer. So asset is 1000, liability is 200. So your capital figure will be 1000 minus 200. That means answer is 800 pounds. So your answer will be 800 pounds. So we will do, you can get the answer. Capital equals assets minus liability. So for if you apply this capital equals, sorry, equal thousand minus 200. 200. So your answer will be Will be 800 pounds. pounds. So, this is the way we can solve the accounting equation, use the accounting equation to identify the uh, assets, capital, or liability figure. So, we move to the next. Uh, slide. This is uh, some examples of some questions given in uh, accounting equation. So you can try these. Uh, I will do the first one for you. Even you can do this manually. First one is asset figure is 500. Capital figure is 100. So what will be the liability figure? So liability figure will be 500 minus 100. Then your answer will be 400. Or you can think in this way. Asset figure is 500 and the capital figure is 100. So the total of capital and liability should be equal to 500. Therefore, liability figure should be 400. So next question. Assets figure is not given. Capital plus liability figure is given. Capital and liability figures are given. So assets figure is equal to uh, addition of these two figures. So it should be 750. 750. So we'll put this answer also 400. Here. And here it should be 750. The next one is assets equal 1000, capital is 5800. So, very easily you can get the answer 1000 minus 5800, then you get this answer manually when you can do 4200. 4, so, these answers can be bold, then we know it's the answer. Okay, next one. Assets is 200,000. The figures are big, bigger compared to others. And the capital figure is not known. And the liability is 
uh, it's one million. Okay. Okay, this is two million. I'm sorry. This is two assets figure is two million. So this figure should be one million. How did you get it? Two million minus one million. You get the answer here. One million. Sorry. So we bought this the answer. The next one, last one is assets figure is two million five hundred thousand. Capital figure is one million five hundred thousand. Then the liability figure should be two million five hundred thousand minus one million five hundred thousand. So your answer again will be one million here. Okay, so we have finished the first lesson, uh, lesson number one, introduction to accounting, uh, give basic idea about the syllabus and the definition of accounting. And then we did about uh, some ex uh, explain about the main five accounts, assets, expenses, liability income and capital, and with examples. Then the users of uh, accounting we did. Then we did accounting equation. So I think you have got good idea about the first lesson. So if you want to clarify anything, you can comment on after my video. Video, I will give the answers and explanations. So have a nice day and be safe.